OK, so I've got my drawing set up here. What I can do is, first of all, I'm going to think about what the movie is. And I've got my model already open. Once I'm in here, I can open up the LEGO one -er, And it pre-populates the sheet for me. And I can see a variety of different views. Um, if you haven't got the, your product open, you will need to open it. Just file open. So, into my view palette tool. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the main views. Now, the most, the easiest views are normally the top or the front to use. And the first thing I do is I go, okay, which one is going to sit nicely in the middle? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the front view. I'm going to get it, I'm going to drag it, and I'm going to drop it in. I'm then going to zoom up, or zoom up, roll up, click, and then come back down, and I'm going to go right. Click again, and then I'm going to green tick. So that's giving me most of my major views. Go back to view palette, and then I'm going to use the isometric tool. Isometric, drop it on. When I drop them on, I have display options around here and I've got a variety of defaults. For this one, I want to have it rendered. So I'm going to click it so we can see the rendered view. And I'm happy with that. Green ticket. Now these views, we need to have hidden detail in. I don't need that cross, so I'm going to remove it. Um, this is the parent. These are the two children because this was the one I did first. Click on the parent. And in the parent, I'm going to click hidden, uh, hidden detail. And you'll notice when I do so, the hidden detail within the block becomes apparent. I'm now going to smart dimension the block and you should do exactly the same. All I'm doing is I'm zooming in on the views that I need and I'm going to click and drag and drop. If you zoom in on your corners you'll be able to get aspects such as fillets and you'll notice as I go through this process what I'm doing um, is I am dragging them away from the main piece. Now I've got 7.8 here which means I do not need 7.8 here so there's no need to repeat your measurements um, but measurements which are unique, you should bring up each time. I've got a number of circles here, which I can bring out. I'm not going to label the Lego uh, wording itself. Now with this one, I need to show the wall thickness. So I'm going to use the select line there. I'm going to click here as well. That then gives me the 1.4, and I can drag down and show that. We've obviously moved... Our, um, we changed our distance here to 0.1 but we need to show that equally I can then I could show this but as you'll notice that's the same as the dimension here so I'm going to remove it but what I will do is I will give the total height of the top of the stuff 1.7 so what I'm doing now is I'm having a check seeing what I can add in if I've missed anything so I've got the height of this I know the radius of this I know how tall the block is in its complete in its entirety I know how thick the internal structure is because I've got the 1.4 here. So in essence, someone else looking at this drawing will now be able to draw it for us. So, last things that are missing are some center lines. So up to annotation, got the center line, and what I'm going to do, anything that's symmetrical. So from our point of view, between this line and this line is symmetrical, and likewise here to here. We've also got some symmetry here as well. So we can pop our center lines in by clicking that one and clicking that one, getting our center lines. Green tick. Okay. Now when we look at this we need to then think about what we're doing with our um, materials and our finish. I'm going to right click on the sheet, edit sheet format. Having clicked that, I'm going to double click on our finish. I'm going to change that to 1.6. Alright. It's a fairly standard finish material, a suitable material and the appropriate material for this is polystyrene. All the tolerances remain the same. I'm going to change the name to single stud. Everything fits in the boxes, everything's the way it should be. The scale is automatically updated. You'll notice that this updated and this updated because I used the ones that were already on the sheet previously without deleting them completely and redoing them. So you might choose to go back and swap those. Click on edit sheet, everything goes to grey. At this stage I can now save it. So that was just us doing a block and doing our first technical drawing uh, for a single stub block. That's been DTTV. Thanks.